Hey guys, welcome back. Ghost of Christmas present here. In my last video, I talked to you guys about my new idea. While I get more fitness related stuff in the works, um, I figured I could just do makeup and kind of practice and get a little bit better. So what I talked about doing is using all of the saved makeup looks that I have on Pinterest and trying to recreate them. Um, and that way I can work on my skills and give you guys some content at the same time. Um, so today I am going to be trying to recreate this particular look right here. And as you can see, it has some pretty intense eyeliner. So I haven't done anything other than foundation, concealer, and setting powder, and brows. Um, so that if I screw up my eyeliner, I can still fix it without having to redo my contour and highlight and all that. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. So I prepped my eyes with my... Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Um, I eventually need to invest in a good eye primer if anyone can recommend one because I have some really exciting palettes coming in the mail that I'm excited to play with for you guys. Um, but today I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette, which is one of my favorite palettes I've ever used so far. Um, I love nudes. Oops, sorry, okay. So here's this, very pretty, right? I'm in love with it. Um, and let me look and see what shades I need. It looks like, let me just test these out really quickly. Um, all right, so it looks like I'm going to use, what's this one? I'm gonna use Bear as my base and then I'm going to go on top of it with, I can't really decide. Probably tickle this pink one here and then I will be going back in with my shape tape to cut my crease and Then taking it looks like crave on top of that. So it's a super simple look um, I'm not gonna do the eyeliner on camera because I'm terrible at eyeliner and I'm gonna have to do it like six times to get it right It might not even turn out right. So don't judge my eyeliner if it turns out terrible. Um, but yeah, so this is a super simple look. I just want to do something quick, you know, and easy for the day. I'm going to pick my brushes ahead of time. Let's see, I'm going to use this little Urban Decay brush. Mm, my Anastasia brush. What else? Where's my big blender? Um, where did the brush go? Oh, it's right here. Yeah. And my favorite brush, which is also Urban Decay. It's got the little bitty blender on the end and the big fluffy one. I love this brush, it's my favorite. Uh, is that it? Is that it? Nope, I need my liner brush, which is Too Faced. My tiny little sponge brush for my glitters. And I think that's it. I think that's all I'm gonna use. All right, so I got my tools. And I think I'm ready to get started. <sighs> okay, actually, it looks like there are two glitters in here, so I'm probably gonna use Daydream and Crave at the same time. Um, all right, so I'm going to use my Jeffree Star mirror to do this since my camera is taking up all of my space. All right, so starting with my fluffy brush, actually, I might use the mirror in this palette so I can hold both. Oh, hold on, I have creases. Where's my concealer brush? That's the only thing I don't like about using concealer as a primer is when I let my eyes, you know, kind of close for a minute, my crease gets a line in it. But, all right, cool, smooth again. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Crave just as a base. Just kind of tap that in there. Which I honestly, I don't like using bases most of the time because I feel like my colors don't stick as well. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. It's hard to kind of mess up a solid white color. Okay, 
Um, and next, I think I'm gonna take the flat end of this brush and go in with Pickle, and it looks like it's gonna go all over my lid. So, wish me luck. I can't ever get them to match, and I just can't get them out. And now that I have that thick ass layer on, I'm gonna take this little flatter blending brush, go back in with the bear right here, and just start kind of blending this together. And then I'll go back in and kind of do a softer, but I need to get these lines. So now I'm gonna go back in with my concealer and try to cut my crease. my mirror. So I like to tap out a line, look up, find the top, and then fill from there. Doesn't always work out for me, but usually it's a pretty good rule of thumb. So we just make our spot, we look up, and get our line. And just go in. Okay. Okay, well, I kind of screwed up the outer edge on the right eye. Um, so what I'm gonna do is take my flat brush again, try to go back in and darken the outer edge anyway, because I was kind of gonna try to do that. Um, so let's see what I can do on the side I didn't screw up first, just to see what I need to attempt on the other one. Ugh, the left side's looking so good and the right side is just looking like garbage. Okay. I'm trying my best. I'm gonna darken this outer edge because the other outer edge is gonna have to end up being very dark so I need them to match, you know. Could be better, could be a lot worse. I can't stop. It's really bothering me. There we go, that's better. Okay. Okay, I'm done with this part. All right, so first, let me wipe this off. I'm gonna take Daydream, which is this little pink sparkly one right here, and I'm gonna put it on the very outer edge of where I cut this crease. So now I'll take the other side of this brush and go in with Crave, the gold sparkly one. And just press it in the corner. Alright, so here is the upper half of this look completed. I am going to go off camera now and all I'm going to do is line my lower lash line with Tickle, um, probably do an inner corner highlight. I'll do my contour, my highlight, my blush, finish up, maybe do my hair, and then come back and show you guys what I managed to do with myself. Um, oh, and I'm gonna do my eyeliner too, so if it turns out terrible, don't hate me. I tried, just now. I tried my hardest. Be right back. And big reveal time. Here's the finished look. 
Um, let me pull up a picture of what I was trying to recreate one more time. And now here's a close up of what I recreated. I would give the overall look a 9 out of 10 and the recreation itself probably an 8 out of 10. Um, mine turned out a bit more colorful than that one. I didn't, I mean I brought it up a little higher but I still think it turned out really good. My eyeliner is kind of crazy um, but it turned out better than I expected. So I feel like as far as what I was trying to do with the whole Pinterest recreation. I kind of like this idea and I think I'm gonna stick with it for now. Um, this feels successful to me. Um, leave me a comment below and let me know how you think I did. I tried my best, you know. Um, I think I did a good job. As always, I greatly appreciate my viewers, my subscribers, Please feel free to follow me on all of my social media that I have linked below. Um, I try to keep it up as best I can, um, but in the times when it takes me a long time between videos, if you want to catch up and talk to me, just follow me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. I will see you on the next one.